Hello and welcome everyone to a brand new audit. Over the last month and a half or so of IRL time, we have covered years 51 through 74 in Stardew Valley. Due to a lot of sleeping and a lot of other uh, crazy strategies, we've been able to accomplish quite a lot here. And today is also the eve, or at least when you're seeing this video, it will be the eve of 1.6. So this is our last audit before the last, or at least probably the last update of this challenge is going to come out. So let's go ahead and dive right into where we're looking right now. You might have noticed there's a slight change to the percentages here. I added the decimal place just because um, it's a little clearer. So we're at 94.2 out of 100%. You might also notice that there's just another column there. This represents what percentage that this category fills up for the total here. So all of these add up to that 92.4 that we're at right now. When 1.6 comes out, we're going to be splitting the categories a little bit differently. I'm going to use it as excuse to kind of spread this out a little bit more. There should be a video out fairly soon where I'm going to go through and remake the spreadsheet. I'm going to move around the different categories. I'm going to add the new items for 1.6. I'm going to add a few items that I still haven't added from 1.5 and maybe a few more nice touches to it to just improve the flow of it. On veggies, we are very close to being done and you'll find out that we are done now. Forges, very close. Basically, the only things that are left here from our last audit are the row, the fish, the artisan goods, forges, the veggies, animal products, seeds, materials, gems, other artifacts and decorations. We've managed to get 100% in everything else so far. And with that, let's go on and fill some stuff in. So fruits are all done. We no longer need to touch that. We now have fiddlehead fur. We have 999 fiddlehead ferns. That's crazy. We lost fiddlehead ferns? That shouldn't happen. Uh, it turns out that I turned most of them into pickled fiddlehead ferns, which we'll see in just a minute here. It's going to turn out that fiddlehead ferns are actually done. So I'm going to write that down as our first finished stack. For forges, we're going to check our rainbow shells. We have 738 rainbow shells. So we've gotten 100 more, which is good, but we're still not quite done yet. On to flowers. We've been done, but I just want to point out something that I did. I turned all of the flowers into their individual colors. So now we have different categories for each color, which just feels a little bit better in my opinion. For fish, we do have to make some changes here in the fish category. Actually, not too many. I think the only difference is going to be in the tiger trout category. We have 228, but I include these because I can turn all of these fish into this one using a fish pond. So it's going to be 228 plus 12 plus 49 plus 4 is 293. We have managed to get quite a few. And now let's head on over to our largest changed category. This this is our row, and by the end of this audit today, this will be completely filled out. So starting with cockle, crab, and crayfish. Luckily, they're all together. We have 999 of each of those. So it says 50%, but that's because all of these have also been turned into aged row, which we'll be checking next in Artisan Goods. Lobster row, mussel row, oyster row, periwinkle row. Lobster row, mussel row, oyster row, and periwinkle row are all sitting at 999. And then the last two are shrimp row and snail row. The shrimp row is right here and the snail row is right here. We've got 999 of each and we're ready to head on over to Artisan Goods where we now need to fill out our aged row for the same things. Here is the cockle, crab, and crayfish, 999 of each of those. Next up, we have aged lobster row, aged oyster row, and aged periwinkle row. Here's our aged lobster row. Here's our aged uh, oyster row and uh oh. Aged periwinkle row. You are not in the right spot, buddy. But we have it. That's what's important. 999, 999, 999. We have our aged shrimp row and our aged snail row. Our aged shrimp row is right here, and our aged snail row is right here. And we have 999 of each. 999, 999. And if we scroll on up here, we are 100% done with the aged row. And if we backtrack just a second here, we are 100% done with the row as well. So that's another category checked off the list. And now, to check another category off the list, let's scroll on down to pickles specifically fiddlehead pickles because we did something pretty incredible here pickled fiddlehead ferns 999 every single one of the vegetable and fruit based and row based artisan goods are completely done the only ones that are left are the ones we can just get from the traveling cart if we head on back to veggies really quickly though we can see that veggies are now complete we have 55 pickles 78 juice and 103 jelly so that has gone up pretty significantly actually cooking has been done but it still looks pretty animal products and mob drops we do have some changes to make here for sure we have 
have 999 plus 33. We're just going to mark down these 999, though, for reasons that will make sense later on. So it looks like we've actually lost some Dragon's Teeth, but I can assure you that's not the case. As far as slime goes, uh, we have a bunch of excess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stacks plus 576. So that is 5,000... 571. Now let's update our eggs as well. Our blue slime eggs have actually not changed at all. We still have 699, but our red slime eggs are 272 and our tiger slime eggs are 350. Uh, Void Essence realistically hasn't changed all that much and I don't feel like going through and counting all of that. So we're just going to leave it as it is now. And then that is it for our animals and mob drops category, although we're probably going to come back to it. Seeds, if we come on down here to banana saplings and mango saplings, obviously not that much has changed because the they're very slow going. Just kidding. I have finished both of them, which brings our seeds to completion. That is another category done. And now let's head on over to metals, materials, and uh, gems. Let's go ahead and start with our cinder shards. I'm going to do something a little weird here, and I'm just going to set this to 999 for reasons that will become clear later. And same with the bone fragments, actually. And that is it for this category. So let's head over to minerals, which has not changed even slightly. And now let's go over to our other category, which has significant changes. First of all, our auto grabbers, if we head on over here and our auto petters. So auto grabbers are done, 999. And then our auto petters are at 98. We've actually only gotten eight of those, didn't we? That's still some. Scooching on down to our deconstructors. We have 818 now. We weren't quite able to finish them, but uh, we did make some really good progress on those. And enrichers are at 157, which has not changed. 190 for our pressure nozzles. We have 191. And let's go on up to our golden coconuts. And I'm going to go ahead and set them to 999, even though we've got 13 more, for reasons that will become clear later. Let's head on down to magic rock candy, which we have made enormous progress on, but did not quite finish. We are extremely close. 981. We are basically about a year away from finishing it. And now our ostrich incubators. We managed to get 990. 99 ostrich incubators. We are completely done with them now. Each ostrich incubator counts as 50 bone fragments, 50 hardwood, and 20 cinder shards. Each single one of these. So let's head on down to our rare crows, which were mostly yearly items, so they didn't change all that much here. Rare crow number one is 58. Rare crow number two is 54. Snowman rare crow is 384. And then finally, our last rare crow, rare crow number five, is 52. And then there's only two items left over here. One of them is unchanged, our Void Ghost Pendant. We haven't gotten any of those. But for our Island Totem, we have 999 Island Warp Totems. Let's head on back to Animal Products and Mob Drops for a moment. And you might notice there's something missing here. And that's because Dragon's Teeth are officially completed now. Since we got those 999 Island Totems and we got the 999 Dragon's Teeth, that's all we need. So Dragon's Teeth are done. But if we head over to Metals, Materials, and Gems, you might notice something here. There's nothing missing here. Specifically, Bone Fragments and Cinder Shards are both completely finished. Because the only holdup was the Ostrich Incubators. So now that they're done and we have a stack of them, we have everything in this category done. All right, now we're going to head over to our Artifacts and take a look here. So starting with our Amphibian Fossil, we have 234. Okay, which made that bump quite significantly. Our Dwarf Gadgets, I don't think have changed all too much. 831 Dwarf Gadgets. We managed to get one of them. We'll focus on that coming up in 1.6 for sure. Same with our Dwarf Scrolls, 2 and 4, 857 and 744, 857, 744, so those did not change. Let's go ahead and look at our fossilized ribs now. 418, 999, 219, and 314. So we didn't get any um, spines, but we got quite a number of tails. And we can check the Mummified Bat and Mummified Frog now as well. Mummified Bat is 696, and Mummified Frog is 103. Whoops, that was the wrong one. 696 goes up here. I thought it looked wrong. Specifically, the frog has gone up by a lot. The bat has gone up by about the same, but the frog is the one that we came up with a new strategy for, where we basically are just getting at least one every year and resetting the day if we don't from the jungle. And that makes it kind of a yearly item, to be honest with you. Knowledge Fossil is now up to 251. The Palm Fossil, 236. The Prehistoric Scapula is 283. The Prehistoric Skull, 240. Skeletal Hand, 213. Snake Skull and Snake Vertebrae, 266 and 68. 
strange dolls i don't think have changed all that much but we can go take a look at those 273 and 305 so one of them changed and then finally the last item here is the trilobite which is 269. So artifacts are not done yet, but we have been making pretty significant progress on those. So one thing I do want to uh, show you is now that we've done that, we can scroll on up a little bit. And one thing we kind of overlooked earlier was the golden coconuts, which are now completed because it's based on the geode chances, basically the percent chance of getting certain items, but all of those items are now gotten. So we have 100% finished golden coconuts in their entirety. And lastly, we need to go through the decor. Only two things here have changed. And that is the plush bunny. We're at 70 so we we did a lot with the plush bunny we got one at least every year the stone junimo we're up to 55 stone junimos up from 33 the owl has not changed at all we're gonna have to get it on that soon whoopsies and then finally we have our tea set we had 19 tea sets and now we have 35 tea sets four <laughs> percent and with that we are through the sheet now so let's go ahead all the way to the front here and see what has changed we were at 94 <laughs> It really doesn't seem like all that much, does it? It was 94.2, and now we're at 95.4. Doesn't seem like a crazy change, but there was a lot that we got done. Some of the stacks that I've been working on since 1.0, like Fiddlehead Ferns being done, is absolutely insane to me. And some of the biggest sticklers of 1.5, such as the fossilized skull, basically all the golden coconuts related stuff getting done is also insane to me. We managed to do all that while getting all the row done, all the dragon seed done, all the ostrich incubators done, an insane amount of stuff was done during that audit but we're not quite done yet because now we have to do our checklist starting with the big one the fiddlehead fern which not only puts our vegetables at 23 out of 23 but yeah finishes our vegetables completely then we can head on down to the row where we can now mark this as completed as 58 out of 58 and just go through and make sure we check all of them for our artisan goods we actually do need to count for these so let's go through and finish them here and count them all one two three four four five six seven eight oh yeah we also need to do our pickled fiddleheads which makes it nine and i think that's it so nine more get added to here so we're at 179 now animal products and mob drops dragon's teeth are done that puts us at 25 all right, for seeds, we can actually go ahead and mark seeds as completed. Metals, materials, and gems are now finished with bone fragments and cinder shards. Auto grabber, that's done, that's one. Golden coconuts are done, so that's two. Ostrich ink bear is done, so that's three. And four for the island totem as well. So now we're only 10 away from being done. Artifacts, we did manage to finish, I believe just the one artifact, and that was the fossilized skull. I'm pretty sure we did not finish any other artifacts. So that puts us at 34 out of 53. And that's it in terms of the checklist. So let's head back up to the top here and we'll play the addition game. 841 total here. That puts us much closer to our goal than before. Thanks everyone so much for joining me today. Uh, we are going to be jumping into 1.6 with a brand new farm tomorrow in order to experience everything that it has. We're going to bring that farm to perfection. At some point along the journey though, we are going to jump back into the 999 challenge. I think it'd be kind of fun to experience things for the first time and then and start doing this challenge again but i hope you'll join me then thank you all so much for being here today and i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you all in the future bye for now everyone